Hi everyone, my name's uh, Anita, I'm the Violet Stitcher and this is floss tube number 29, I'm pretty sure. Um, right, yeah, I've got a, a fair bit for you today. Uh, I have two fully finishes, two finishes, lots of whips and three starts. So a flush of, of uh, project types for you. Not a real flush because I didn't have a start and a finish. Maybe next month. Um, right, yes, yeah, so this is basically a uh, summary of what I got up to in February, uh, which was uh, ridiculously short. Um, so I didn't actually, I on, only stitched 13,427 stitches. In February um, yeah so, so not quite as much as I, I would normally want but work and February not having enough days in it uh, did not help right okay cool so what should I start with uh, I'm gonna start with my fully finishes right Okay, so first one is one I finished last year, and I can't remember when, somewhere around the beginning of last year. And this is Valen oh, what's that focusing? Yeah, Valentine, oh dear, something like Valentine T-Rex. And this is by uh, Lola Crow Cross Stitch. I hope that's right. I'm pretty sure it's my Lola Crow. Uh, and this was for one of my, uh, our, our anniversaries, 850 days. Uh, so yeah, I think I did that one over one on 25 count by the looks of it. Yeah, there he is. It's very cute. T-Rex with his little arms holding a heart. Oh, and I back, I found some dinosaur fabric Unfortunately, no T-Rexes, but there's a Triceratops. Um, so yeah, that was cool. Of course, I mean, I don't know why I end up choosing fabric that matches, because you're never going to see it, are you? But I know it's there, so <laughs> that's what's important. So that's that one. And then I finished... Oh, what is it? There we go. I finished a Modern Folk Embroidery... Um, and another band, another wedding anniversary thing, 1,100 days. And this one was Swedish Heart Pincushion. And I finished it uh, very big, you know, January 2023. So it's taken over a year <laughs> to fully finish it and put it on the wall. See, see why I needed to make a goal of fully finishing at least one item. So I made the cording myself. Uh, not with the same thread because this is a variegated thread. I just pulled similar, similar looking um, colours, and I backed it with a nice bit of purple flower fabric I had in my stash. Oops, a bit of cat hair. I mean, how can that be? She's got such little hair, and yet has managed to put it on my. Yeah. Oh well, there we go. Anyway, so quite happy with that, and that too can go on the wall now. Uh, right, on to my finishes. Uh, so I, I don't need to show you what it, what it um, looks like, but I can show you what it looked like last time you saw it. And this was my Bristol Berry uh, start that I started in one of the Bristol Stitchy Days last year, and now I finished it. I figured since there's another Bristol Stitchy Day coming up soon, I should get on and. And finish it. There are a few mistakes but I can't remember where they are now and hopefully you can't notice. Clearly it's because mainly I can't count. So this is done two over two 25 count because I was a little bit worried it's going to be it was going to be too small um, but I think when I do some of the others cause some of the others have squirrels on fun stuff like that I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to do it one over one twenty-five, just so then they're cute and tiny. So I was I was telling my husband, he goes, "Well, what what are you going to make that into?" And I'm like, "Well, it's like a sushi wrap." 
So you roll it up like a sushi and then the top cut sort of looks like this. <laughs> and he goes, I think you need to look at a tutorial for that, Anita. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're right, I do. So that's what this month is all about. I've got to fully finish that. Work out how you're supposed to put it together to become a proper berry thing. So yeah, that's my plan. Next finish, I went to the Bee Stitchy Retreat at the end of last month, which was wonderful. Um, and I managed to fully finish my dragon. Oh, do I have a where it was last time? I'm doing it in the wrong order. Pancakes. Oh, no, that's what it looks like. We don't use that. There we go. So I just the top of the wings left to do. And I finished it. I brought it out on when was it? Saturday. I think it was Saturday afternoon. So I'm like, I'm going to finish it. And someone had to give me some thread because I stupidly hadn't quite brought enough of 223 or 224. I can't remember which one it was now. Um, but that was wonderful. Thank you to whoever that person was. And uh, I did all that back stitching, which was a pain. And look, the dragon is very cute and complete and I have managed to make look it's dirty on one side it's irritating but anyway I'm gonna probably make a soft finish a soft dish frame finish what do you call that it's not a soft finish is it it because a soft finish is a pillow what do you call this this is a Hey, I framed it myself with some cording, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm planning on doing the same, same sort of thing. I found some fabric with strawberries on the back, on it, so I can put that on the back. And I might try that that thing where you can see the fabric at the on the front, just a little bit of it. I'll give that a go, see if I like that method. I'm not quite sure where you put the cording, though. Do you put it around the very outside or the inner outside? More tutorial watching required. Oh, I forgot to say, this is on 28 count over two, and I can't remember the fabric, but it was some sort of printed blue fabric that I had in my stash. And I was doing this uh, with Cross Stitch Bunny and Amber Rogue Stitcher, Rogue Mama Stitcher. Um, Lauren has finished hers ages ago. I believe Amber is still uh working on hers but look amber you can finish yours too <laughs> even if it takes us a year yeah anyway, happy happy that that is done because that mean meant that i could start new things uh right where are we oh yeah okay so let us begin where we normally begin with Dragon clans. So this is what dragon clans will look like when it is finally done. Um, illustrated by Anne Stokes, charted by Pain Free Crafts. I'm doing it one over one, full cross on 25 count, easy count. And this is where I was last time. So I was at the top, moving across. Um, I think I'd done two pages. Yeah, and I was I was carrying on, and this is where I'm at now. I was around here. Ooh, I can't see you. There you go. So yeah, it is. I have done another page, all and almost another page. It looks like I've done two more pages, but I haven't. There are some, let's pull these threads out of the way. There you go. There are some gaps on on this page, about five stitches left to do, I think. And then that page is done. Um, and then, yeah, moving across. And we are at 93% now. The end, the end is coming. So that's cool. Yeah, I have really enjoyed stitching this. I can't believe I'm almost at the end. Yeah, 
Love it. Okay. Don't look at the back. The back is awful. <laughs> Atrocious. Okay. Right. So, next one of my whips is... Uh, Sky Queen, where are you? Right. So, this is what Sky Queen will look like when she's done. This is an Anne Stokes pattern in World of Cross Stitch. I'm pretty sure I write the um, edition down in my notes, but if I haven't and you want to know, let me know. Um, I'm doing it one over one on 25 count on some chromatic alchemy unicorn farts. And that's where I was at last time. And this is where I'm at now. Uh, oh yeah, that fabric's showing quite well. Weather's a bit weird today. I woke up and it was snow. <laughs> it was snow. I was not expecting that. Um, now it is all, it's all melted and it's just continuing to rain. Oh yeah, I should take the hoop off, shouldn't I? What am I doing? It's like I haven't done this before. There we go. So I did more of the wing. Let's move those threads. I've been watching a lot of floss tubes and people um, apologise for dangling threads. I don't really know why because I don't understand how you can do a cross stitch without dangling threads. Unless it's all one colour and you happen to have finished it. Clearly I just, I just stitched differently. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I put in, how many stitches did I put in? Oh, uh, not very many. 200 and, about 200 stitches, yeah. And I'm at 34% complete. I was hoping to finish this this year, but I'm not sure if I'm going to manage it. But we'll keep going. Maybe I will. Or at least be much closer when I get to the end of the year. Yeah, that's that one. I'm using floss drops for this one. Well, sort of, no I'm not. I'm using bobbins on a ring. Uh, yeah, not, not. So it's not really the best of either world. Um, but it does make it smaller and it fits in a tiny project bag. I glow in the dark Star Wars bag. So, I like that. I'm in the process of making two more project bags because I had new starts and no bags to put in them in now. Okay, next one, another dragon by Ann Stakes. And, and where is it? This is what Dragons of the Sabbat will look like if it ever gets finished. And yeah, it's huge. It's a huge pattern. Oh, actually, maybe I should have taken it out of the skew snap for you. Anyway, this is what it looked like last time. So I was doing the centre centre um, of the pattern. And I have put in another 500 stitches. And now I'm here. And you can see I've completed this dark, dark blue and there is another line, uh, another circle of blue around the outside of that that is slightly lighter. It's not focusing very well is it? There we go. And I have started working my way up here in the hopes that I can get to the dragon. So I show you the picture again. I'm, gonna, I'm making my way up to get to that Dragon. I know it's quite a long way away, but I'm hoping by the end of this year I can have got to the point where I can start the dragon at the top there. So then that'll be a good place to be. Then I can start actually stitching on dragons rather than just dark blue on a black fabric. <laughs> Which is... Uh, yeah. It's been interesting. Hard work is what it is. But yeah, I'm quite excited now that I can see my way up to getting to that dragon. There was quite a, yay, look at that. 
And I've also hit black. So it's supposed to be black in places here. So I am finally at the point where I am winning with the black fabric and not stitching some bits. So quite happy with that. Clearly that will not be finished this year. start I started a new project obviously it's a dragon so I started this with Lauren cross stitch bunny on her birthday uh, where is it oh yeah here we go sapphire dragon and this is by Anastasia Sovu so I'm probably saying that horribly wrong let me try again a sova something like that I'm stitching it on a piece of glacier. Um, I have made a really minor start. Oh, that needle's about to pull out. There we go. I've done. I've started in the middle, and I think I've got the bottom of that dragon's. Uh, I don't know which way up this is supposed to be. Hopefully, it makes sense when I look at it again on markup but yeah that is my start I think I've put 50 stitches in or something yeah <laughs> and uh, I do like it it's got lots of blends and it's got some lovely colours in it so I'll be stitching more on this uh, soon I hope uh, it is full coverage in a circle, approximately. There are bits that come outside of it. Um, yeah, this is opalescent, it looks like. Yeah, of course it is. One over one, 25 count. So hopefully, oh no, it's not. No, sorry, it's 28, isn't it? Because it's blended, so that'll be two over two. I'm telling lies. I know what I'm doing. Two over two, 28 count. Uh, but yeah, that was my, one of my dragon starts for the last month. This, this one needs a project bag. Currently it's in a, yeah, I won't even show you because it's not, yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay, oh, that's dragon crown, don't need that. I'm not a dragon. This uh, right, so this one is a chatelaine and I did this at the retreat as well. Oh, hair um this is a very blurry bad pattern of what it will look like when it's complete. You don't really need this picture. Oh no, look. This is what happened last time. What was that with? This is how I end up in at work in London, wondering where my hoop is and why I can't stitch anything. Right, so this one is Heart of Violets and Jade, uh, and it's a shuffling. And this is where I was at last time. I think I was like 95% complete or something. Um, and I was right at the top of the heart. I'd done everything else and during my during the retreat I got it out and I finished going all the way around the edge so the heart is done and then I did the letters um, there you go and uh, it was 1500 days a couple of days ago so I put that in and I've started beading so you can both pull it a bit closer yeah there you go you can see some of the beads so it called for some off-white AB beads, but I've gone for a very light purple instead, which I think, well, you know, it's nice and subtle. It's similar to the fabric and the flowers, so I like it. So I'm about up to here beading. I've started at the top, so I just need to carry on around. So it is so, so close to being finished. Um, yeah, and then I have to work out how I fully finish this. So 
that I have some leftover fabric for when I made my wedding dress. And so I could, which is purple, obviously. Um, so I could, um, I could back it with that or I could get it framed properly. There's a chatelaine, so I really feel I should frame it properly. Because clearly, you know, finishes that without glass do not last as long. But then does it need to? Um, I'm, in, I'm in two minds. Because I really like the idea of backing it with my wedding dress fabric. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think. Yeah. I talked to my husband and he wasn't much help. He goes, oh, yeah. Well, whatever you think, Anita. I'm feeding that. It just about fits in that nerd tube. There's a bit on the side where it doesn't, so I'll probably have to do those by hand. That's cool. Uh, what have I got next? Oh, yeah. This is by Nora Corbett, and it is Red Cabbage Sprite, and it will look like this when it's done. And I've lost the floss for this. I, I turned up at the retreat and I was like, oh, why does it not have floss with it? I, st uh, I still can't find it, but weirdly, I do have the beads in a separate packet. So that's okay. But why don't I have the, <laughs> why don't I have the floss? I don't understand. Anyway, luckily, um, the one fancy floss was in another, was with something else, so that was okay. So I've just, so the rest is to stay in DMC. And it will have only been bits of DMC. So I've, I've started again with some floss drops that I made out of birthday cards. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, enough of that and my silliness. Uh, this is what it looked like last time. And... I put another 500 or so stitches into it and this is what it looks like now. I'm loving these colours. So this purple is my favourite colour, 5510, 550 sorry, and this Gloriana is lovely to stitch with. And the greens and the purple, they all goes, it's lovely. <laughs> I like it, which is good because, you know, oh, I'm stitching it. Anyway, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, I'm 50% done. 50%. So basically, that's all her wing. She's she's pretty much that's pretty much all her wings done. So now she's got a bit of body and uh, and the dress. And she's not very big at all. So yeah, 50% done. Oh yeah, and some beading and some back stitch. Okay, maybe not quite 50% done then. Close. It's pretty close. So I'll be doing a bit more of that. I think it got called on my whip go for this month. So she'll get another 500 stitches in. Did I say this is Nora Corbett? This is Nora Corbett. Uh, 28 count, some chromatic alchemy. I think it's Owl's Dark Magic. Um, let me see. Here she is. Oh no. Owl's Dark Magic, yes. There you go, if I remember correctly. So that's that. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know why that one's in there. I haven't been stitching that. Right, here's another new start. So um, it's a leap year this year, and so I uh, I had to have a leap year start apparently. And so I started my first Fraser Wednesday. Oh, sorry, itchy nose. Um, the castle, as I have the book, and um, did about five hundred stitches on it. 
there's no before picture obviously because it is a star and it's still in its frame because the 29th was not that long ago and I have started here I've started on the far left hand middle <laughs> far left middle yeah where the um, oh, wrong side where the uh, rocks are and they're sort of they're all everything's a blend so far um, and this is a sort of grey purpley blending going on with I've done the black back stitch as I go and then I've started on the dragon and I'm doing the purple conversion um, so I I had a I posted my Instagram so the purple conversion only gives you the conversion for the body of the dragon and not for the yellow parts of the dragon so I said what do I do do I do, what do I convert that to because I didn't I don't really like yellow and some people said orange I was thinking oh that would be quite quite bold could do orange um, or I could do a lighter a lighter pur purpley grey so I'm not quite sure yet but I haven't got that far so <laughs> I don't have to quite decide and then I was also thinking oh there's lots of there is a conversion of you know, adding some some sparkly metallics in there as well. Um, but as I was stitching, I was thinking, I don't think it needs any metallics. It's all it's all lovely. I, I love stitching with these purples and the blends. I actually like using blends because I'm a weirdo like that. Yeah. So yeah. That's my start on uh, the castle, and I'm supposed to finish that within four years. Luckily, on the on the um, pattern, it's divided up into four pages, so I could I could give a go at uh, doing a page a year. So that means I have to I have to I've got a ton of rocks to do, um, and a bit of his a bit more of his body. Um, on this this bottom left hand corner so I'll give that a go and see how we do I have so I wasn't quite sure how to organize my threads um, so what I've done is I've done a floss drop per blend so far I mean some some of the some of the colors are used uh, by themselves so I've given them a floss drop as well but I don't, I don't know. I've only put on, I've only got a few so far because these are the ones that I've used. And also I'm I'm changing some colours as I go. So I didn't think there was much point putting them, sorting them all out in one go. So yeah, I don't know if that's, if I'm going to stick with that or, or I'm not going to. We'll see. And it's in my Kaylee tent stitch dragon bag. Thank you, Kaylee. Love it. That seemed appropriate. Especially as it's going to be hanging around for at least four years. That's that one. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Another Nora Corbett. So this is. Uh, the S Mermaid. So Nora Corbett does letters, mermaid letters, and this is her S S Mermaid. Oh, what's happened here? <laughs> uh, right, sorry about that. I thought I tightened it. Is that even straight? There we go. Right, so S Mermaid by Nora Corbett. Uh, that's what it has been charted to look like. Um, this is what it looked like last time. Oh, sorry, bang the camera there. Um, I hadn't made much of a start. And this is what it's looking like now. Just take it out of its hoop. Is that the right round? No, this is the right round. Uh, so I put in about 500 stitches or so. So I'm 
I've, uh, I've got all the variegated threads I'm using and this is a uh, this is one variegated thread for the, what's the, what's the end of the tail called? Anyway, the end of the tail, uh, she's got some nice variegated green there and I'm, I'm working on the S coming round. Um, all the colours are different, I think. Oh, apart from one, which I actually happen to have and decide to keep. And I'm about, how far am I now? mermaid I oh not very far 16% done um so I, I need to get a move on with this one although that might be a lie markup doesn't do very well at percentages when when um when you take a picture of, of a paper pattern because it's probably marks up a whole load of stuff that isn't art stitches yeah, having fun with that one. I have to get that done by October. I'm also on a piece of uh, 25 count Triton and I'm doing it mini, one over one. Uh, by Triton by Sparklies, not by Chromatic Alchemy this time. So, uh, dragons. So this is yet another Anne Stokes dragon and what's it called? Fantasy dragon. And this is from the World of Postage again. And this is what it will look like when it's done. That one there. And this is where I was last time. So I've done half a dragon, almost. And this is where I've got to. Oh, threads everywhere. There we go. <laughs> the right way around. There we go. Uh, yeah. So he's got quite a substantial amount of wing going on. So I've been working on all of that. Um, it's quite cool, even without the back stitch, you can see that this here is his um, front wing coming up, and that's that's the back wing behind. Um, I'll start moving the back stitch across, doing a bit more of that next time, probably. I think I did a bit more. Yeah, I I did the bottom foot. Uh, no, the front, the front leg, <laughs> backstitch as I as I'm going. So yeah, that's him. I think he's he's not very far along. There's a lot more to him than it appears. Twenty nine percent, yeah. I think that is accurate. And I'm stitching. Oh no, I'm not stitching this with anyone anymore. Um. Yeah, just me. Cool. Oh, I forgot to say the Sky Queen I'm stitching with uh, Nithia in Daybreak Stitchery. I've got this Tower of Cross Stitch projects on my ironing board that is uh, wobbling quite a lot. Okay. Oh, when you my last new start. So uh, clearly, it was the beginning of Year of the Dragon last month, and uh, to celebrate, I started Modern Folk Embroidery Here Be Dragons, which looks like this, and uh, I made a small start. I'm not even sure which way up this is. Which way up is that? It might be. It might be this way up. 
something like that. So yeah, clearly you can tell that is, oh, I don't think it is. I think it's the other way. Anyway, uh, so it's the centre start and I have, um, using some black raspberry jam, they're slightly variegated thread from uh, the Gentle Art. And I will no doubt need some more of that. Uh, but I'm sure I'll be able to pick some up at some retreat that I go to. So yeah, having fun with that. That should be a nice, easy stitch. Um, it's modern folk embroidery, so he's played around with some negative space there. Uh, and it will be, it'll be lovely. Oh okay, yeah, that's me. So almost, I'm almost at the end, guys. How long have I been? Uh, oh, 36 minutes, right, okay. Um, so I am stitching some fairy alphabet for my granddaughter, Zaria. So obviously her name is not Min, so it won't look quite like this. Um, and I got this far last time with the first Z. And now I have an A as well. Um, so I made the Z look a bit like her, although I think her skin colour is going to end up being a little bit darker than that now. It's amazing how babies change. I mean, um, in my limited knowledge of babies, they, uh, yeah. So anyway, I made the A look a bit like me. So she, she got darker skin and very purple. And uh, I began R. R is going to be green. Uh, and probably a redhead. Um, yeah, so I'm having fun with changing the, uh, diversifying this this fairy. Uh, <laughs> and I am on what kind of fabric is this? It's going to be some chromatic alchemy. I'm doing two over two on twenty eight count, and it is a piece of freesia, which is quite. That's showing up. Yeah, that's a bit. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too traumatic for you. I've really got to get that sorted out, haven't I? Oh dear. <sighs> One moment, let me pause. Hopefully, we won't fall over again now. <laughs> Dear me. Right, anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. I So this was 28 count freesia. And, uh, yeah, the light is showing up pretty well. So it's linen? Is it linen? Can't tell. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's why it's so dark. Yeah, it's darker. Yeah, so there we go. Doing that. From my, I think it's a book called Cross Stitch Fairies, something like that. Uh, okay. Right. more um so this is a dragon by Anne Stokes and it is called Dragon Beauty and this is what it will look like when it's done this was a, a birthday start from not last year but the year before that I think Dragon Dragon Beauty Yes, 2022. Um, and this is on, this is again on Freesia, but this is 25 count Freesia. I like Freesia, so I bought it twice. Oh, wrong around, oh dear. 
Ooh, some weird and pixelated happen there. Um, this is where it was at last time. So I'm making this a focus. I'm trying to put about a thousand five hundred stitches in a month. I think this time I managed. Um, yeah, about 1,500. And oh, well, that's not going to help. OK, so and we're up to here. So we are the dragon. The tail has met the uh, rose. I think there's another leaf coming up soon. And yeah, I'm loving stitching that rose with all its purples. That's very nice. It's coming along. Hopefully I'll get it finished by the end of the year, but um, possibly not. We'll see. Cool. I've got stuff on the floor now. All right. So last one, but it's not because I've spotted another one over there. <laughs> so this one is oh no, we didn't stitch on this one. This is a lie. You can't see this one. I did not stitch on that. Right, I was going to, but I didn't. So this is one I have been stitching on. And this is dragon. This has been my travel stitch. Dragonwood Lighthouse. Uh, who's that by? That is Alexandra Zamorina. That's from Etsy. And this is where I was at last time. And this is where I'm at now. Uh, yeah, let me just move that thread there. There we go. So the observant amongst you will notice that some things have gone backwards. <laughs> so I discovered a few things while stitching this. Is and um, one was um, I clearly loaded it into markup incorrectly and didn't not did not realise that there was some overlap on the pages. So it meant that if you can see in my previous uh, picture. The middle of the lighthouse here has another black dot in it, and that is where the overlap happened. And I ended up stitching uh, two rows the same uh, at that point. But luckily, I, I've taken the black, that extra window out that shouldn't be there, out of it. And so the lighthouse is slightly taller than it should be, but this side is only driftwood. So I've fudged it just to. Be a bit bigger and when it gets to the dragon wings now that I know I can move up the dragon wings and stitch those correctly and then if this drift, bit of driftwood needs to be a bit longer I'll do that there so that was my first annoyance at finding and then you'll see that in the dragon let's move that black um, I've removed some of the darker brown and that's because that was never meant to be that dark brown I don't know why I got that modeled but that is meant to be blue. So, so I've taken that out um, and I was a little exasperated with myself. So yeah. And this has an awful lot of backstitch in it. So it's all the, all this is backstitch. All this is these uh, lines and the, the wrappings of the driftwood. That's all backstitch. Some of it's one thread, some of it's two. There's there's going to be some more colours of backstitch coming in, which I haven't started yet. So yeah, but I, on the cross stitch part, I am 50% done. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure that's true if we count the backstitch as well. But I'm liking it. It's really coming together with the backstitch on it. And hopefully my friend will like it too. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, so I I was thinking about putting some beads in here where the little blue, I don't know what these are supposed to be, little blue things are. 
Um, I might put add some beads to that just to make it a little bit more sparkly. Yeah, I'll see when I finished. Yeah, that's that one, and that goes that goes on the train with me up and up and down to London. It's quite good because it's tiny and I can do it in a tiny hoop. And uh, thankfully, no one no one bothers me. <laughs> It's amazing when you're cross stitching on the train. Often, no one will sit next to you because <laughs> you clearly mark yourself as a little bit strange. But I don't mind that at all. Okay. More space. And that is it. That is all my. Let me just check. I'm looking around here. Yes, that is all my whips. So, um, oh yeah. So, some lovely people charted me out uh, this note last month. And one of them is called Sarah Co Cochrane, I think I'm saying that right. Sorry if I've garbled your surname there. Um, and she is uh, Stitching Jet or Jet Stitching on on um, Instagram. And I think she intends to change her channel to Jet Stitching or something like that on on um, on Flosstube as well. But I will link her below. So thank you very much for shouting me out. She has some cool projects too. And so does the 310 Stitcher who's shouted me out. So that was very nice, ladies. Thank you. I do a little squee when people shout me out. I'm like, oh, look, this person knows me. Wow. And then I get my husband in and like, look, look. And we just re re rewind. Look, she mentions me. <laughs> so, yeah, that <clears throat> makes me makes me smile. There we go. Oh, yeah. So on the... I went to the retreat. It was a lovely three-day retreat. Uh, got there, <coughs> got there late Thursday. Um, work was I had extra work, more work than I expected, so I was there a little bit later than I I meant to be. Uh, but that was all good fun. Sorry, my throat's going. I was on a table with Nicola and Liz and. Claire and Liz is Liz brought her friend Susanna who quickly became my friend yay hi Susanna <laughs> um, so that was all that was great and um yeah and there were there were loads of people I always I always wonder when I go through the streets how many people am I going to know am I going to know about I thought I'll know about three people there I think but it turned out that was not true I did know quite a few people um, because you see the same people at all these retreats as you go on and quite a few people knew me from my channel as well which um, I always find a little bit daunting uh, and, and a bit strange but everyone was very nice about it so that was that was all cool um, so it's very nice to meet you, all you guys um, so yeah that, that was lovely and I, uh, I did end up buying some stuff so first of all on the um, de-stash table that's the word I wanted let me just take this bit off here. I found this, which is not the full kit. This is just the pattern and some of the leftover threads so that I can colour match those to some DMC, which is great because I have been eyeing this up for ages because I love all the birds. Um, I'm not that interested in any of the other shoes, but this, this is the one that I wanted to do. So that's cool. And I'll probably start that next year sometime next year and do it on some even weave or something oh so yeah quite happy with that one and also while trying to enable Susanna and tell her that it's not necessary to have a project in mind while when buying floss or or um what's the other way I wanted fabric I managed to enable myself. Um, so paint box were there at the retreat. And I've not really paid attention to their uh, threads before, but they had some lovely dyed cottons. And here they are. I bought I bought a selection. <laughs> look at the look at the colours. Aren't they nice? And yeah, I, I was thinking they they would go well with some uh, ink circles dragons. So I know ink circles as the air dragon, the fire dragon, earth one, I think a water one. And that would work for these. So that's that's your fire dragon there. Uh, that's your earth one. I think 
or no, maybe that one's water. And then air is purple, right? Right? <laughs> you've, got to have, you've got to have a purple dragon in there. So, yeah. I think that's uh, that's probably what I'll use those for at some point. I don't know when. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I might just enable myself. Um, also, unexpectedly, J... JD, no, I'm saying this wrong, aren't I? Who's it? JU Design uh, gave us all a little sample of a piece of 32 count. And I hadn't realised but her fabric smells amazing. <laughs> yeah, really good. I don't normally stitch on 32 fabric because it's so, so tiny. And looking at it now, I'm not sure I can stitch on that. So I might end up giving it away, but yeah, so nice. I'm just, I'm tempted just to buy some of her fabric so I can sniff it. <laughs> okay, that sounds weird. Right, yeah, I shut up. Oh yeah, so yeah, lovely retreat. And that is what I, um, my tiny piece of haul. Uh, also, I was... Uh, who was showing me? I think it was Susanna was showing me her floss drops. Acrylic floss drops. Um, and I was thinking, because I keep all my all my stuff in a, in a Bisley um, cabinet um, with Pip and Chip. Uh, foam inserts and I use bobbins and uh, but I've started using floss drops and as well so what I've been doing is uh, sometimes I punch holes in the floss drop to make it into no oh, sorry punch hole in the bobbin to make it into a floss drop um, and that's what I've been doing for threads fancy threads like the um, gassed ones that don't come in one continuous line they, they come pre-cut so um, I use this, the hole in the center of the bobbin to make it a, as a floss drop and then I wind it all the way around and it becomes a bobbin when I store it in my in my stash that's what I'm trying to say sorry too many words um, but I came across this guy on Etsy who sells wooden bobbins I thought oh because some of my because I'm using cardboard, it just it just falls apart. The it rips, and I've noticed that, I, that happening on a few. So I thought, ah, oh, maybe I need a bit more substantial. But I didn't want to use plastic because I'm trying to use less plastic. Um, and this guy on uh, Etsy had wooden bobbins, and some of them had a hole in the middle to use as floss drop. So I said, oh, would you mind? Could you possibly make some for me? with two holes in the middle, so I can use it as a bobbin and a floss drop. And so he did. So I have a whole load, well, not whole load, I, I had about, I think I got 10, 20. I think I might've got 20. And here they are. So that's cool. Um, they are, however, a little bit thicker than I, want, than I realized. So these are three millimeter and my inserts um, expect your bobbin to be a, a little bit thinner than that. So, but so I messaged him back and said, "Love them. Can they be thinner?" And he said, "Yes, they can be uh, about half the size. So that's perfect." So this guy, um, I will put his details below. I also got this little sheep, <laughs> little sheep thing. It's very cute. Um, so he is John at Lays. Oh, yeah, thank you, Savick. <laughs> Having a little sniff. At laserbyj.co.uk um, and he's also on Etsy so I will leave his details below if you too want to contact him and say can I have some bobbins with extra holes in <laughs> he should know what you're talking about now because I I have um, I have been through that they also smell lovely <laughs> talking about things that smell I got them out of the packet um, and I was like Oh, that lovely just burnt wood smell that I used to love in woodworking when I was uh, at school. 
And it's got lin they're, they're coated in linseed oil as well. Amazing. <laughs> so, so yeah, I've been sniffing my bobbins and my fabric. <laughs> anyway, oh yes, also I got myself a label maker so that I can put labels on them so that I don't have to um, write it on with pencil and then rub it off and make a mess of it all. Anyway, I think I finished, I've done enough rambling. What, um, what are my plans for this month? This month, I'm gonna finish some stuff and I may have one new start, which I think I told you last, last time, and it's gonna be this Bottle Dragons, or Bottles Dragon, I can't remember. Anyway, it's on Etsy. Um, and I think it's by a thousand, a thousand images or something. Something like that. That's what the Etsy shop's called. Message me if you if you are interested and want to start it with me. So I'll be starting that this month, probably. And next month, when it gets to April, I am going to be starting, very excited, Planet Dragons Ooh, by Rob Carlos. So I know Ms. Black Dragon on Instagram is starting, has started Jupiter. Actually, she's quite far away, far through Jupiter, and it looks stunning. But I decided I like to have a lot of dragons on my <laughs> on my full coverage. I'm going to stitch dragons. I like there to be a lot of dragons. So I've gone for all the planets. And hopefully I, have, I won't lose too much detail. Um, no background, because Kaylee Tent... No, that's not who I meant to say. Sorry. Sam from Chromatic Alchemy very kindly painted me a beautiful background so I will be using that so I'll be on 25 count one over one so I was starting that at the beginning of April so I'm quite looking forward to that my April full start uh, yeah I think that's all I have to tell you is there anything else um, no there is there are more stitchy Bristol days being um, organised, so if you're interested, join the Facebook group, please. And I think Sue will be collecting money very soon, so that we can all go and enjoy that. And I look forward to seeing you there, if you're there. Uh, and I think that's it. Uh, we're almost at an hour, so I should probably stop rambling on as usual thank you very much everyone um yes sorry i should say i've had a few new subscribers thank you very much for subscribing love it um always makes me happy and thank you very much for taking time out of your day for watching if you got to this point amazing <laughs> and i i hope you've enjoyed what you've seen if you're not a subscriber and you have enjoyed it please subscribe and leave me a comment and tell me what you're stitching through all of this um especially if you're stitching a dragon uh, and, and or, you know, that sort of thing. I'm a little bit dragon obsessed at the moment. I'm thinking next year, maybe I won't start, start any dragons at all. Uh, no, that seems unlikely. That's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, and I will speak to you next time. Take care. Bye.